Good afternoon. This is Kathleen at my Alabama Farm Life, and today we're going to talk about chickens. So today I decided to go ahead and let my 12 little two-month-old hens and roosters out of the grow-out pen. So I'm still not sure how many roosters I have, but I know I have at least four, if not five. And that's okay, that's more than enough hens to transfer over to the red coop when they're ready to go. But I figure they still have at least another month before I take them across the street. And we've already decided to keep one of the roosters. Now I hatched eight of these uh, chickens and the other four came from Tractor Supply. We really do need a new infusion of new blood into the, into the flock. And um, one of them, one of the ones that we bought from Tractor Supply looks like He's a rooster and that's awesome. So he's going to be the rooster that we're going to keep. These guys look like they're really loving their new freedom and that's awesome. And I know I'm not going to be able to keep them inside the fence, but I'm going to try really hard. So now let's go ahead and let these guys out and see how bad or how good they're going to be. Now they've been living side by side for the last month, so it shouldn't be too bad. Now, as you can see, I have a couple of mean girls and hopefully they'll get tired of picking on the babies and um, go back to eating and maybe getting a, a little bit to drink. Even Ralph is being pretty good. Now he's gone over and he's taken a look at the, the little ones. But um, my younger rooster, his name is Duke. I've decided to go ahead and call him Duke. He's decided to come out and hang out. So Ralph is going to uh, go and protect his girls. Ralph and Duke have been running around like crazy here lately chasing each other. But there's more than enough hens. I also had a little surprise this morning. Um, Shelly decided to come into the gate with me and, and she decided to hang out with me and the chickens for a little while. I turned around for one minute and I don't think you can see the tops of their heads, but all the babies are out there in the tall grass. So they are investigating and having a good time. It's amazing. I always have at least one or two or maybe even a few more of um, the little ones who like to get off on their own and do their own little adventures. So these must be my two little adventurers. And of course, I went into the house and when I came back, they had figured out how to get through the fence, which is not good. And uh, I'm gonna end up chasing them back in but I know that won't last for very long. These babies, they are just awful about getting out of the fence. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I only have the two roosters now. We harvested the other two a couple of weeks ago, and um, we also harvested the extra two across the street. So we're down to three grown adult roosters, and like I said, I think I have four, maybe five roosters from this little 12 pack that I have. 
but um, we shall see. And like I said, I'm gonna keep the one. So that means I'll have the two roosters in the ebon coop and then the two roosters in the crimson coop. And um, that's gonna be it for roosters. I'm not gonna hatch any more eggs this year. I actually have too many chickens. Um, we have, we're getting, I have a lot of eggs and I've been giving a lot away, but um, I guess I need to go ahead and start selling them. Um, as you know, everything has gotten so expensive and um, I need to make some extra money to help with food costs. So that's Duke. He has learned to get his voice. He's still very immature, but he's turning out to be a good rooster, but uh, we'll see. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching and maybe you even learned something or was just entertained. You guys have a blessed and joyous day and I'll see you on my next video.